I love to delve into other time periods. I love to think about what are the components to create the essence of whatever the story is that we're trying to tell. One of my favorite things in costume design is to be, you know, in my studio creating the characters, sketching and re-sketching and seeing a character come to life on paper. So Moulin Rouge is a musical set in Paris in 1900 during the Belle Epoque era, which was a time of great creativity, industrialization, and a time of performance and dance and cabaret. The story is about a young writer who falls in love with the star of the Moulin Rouge. The real Moulin Rouge was an iconic dance hall and nightclub, which was at the epicenter of this creative bohemian world that was burgeoning in the northern side of Paris in Montmartre. And it became iconic because of its shape, which was a red windmill. The stage musical is actually adapted from the film from 2001, directed by Baz Luhrmann. It retains a lot of the aesthetic and the vibrancy that audiences loved in the original film. The musical is such a dazzling spectacle, particularly the costumes that have been designed by Catherine Zuber. What I have here are the final sketches for Satine and her dancers for the Diamonds number. And the top illustration shows what they look like when they first appear. They release their clothing and underneath there's another costume that all happens quite instantaneously. And these designs are the result of lots of sketches, lots of R&D, lots of experimentation. This costume of sateens uh, first started out being a red evening gown. It was a beautiful dress and it worked quite well, but we felt we could go a little bit further. The set became more embellished and more focused on the idea of a diamond and we felt the costume needed to go through another version. So um, I did a lot of research on uh, showgirls through the ages. The character of Satine is based on the real performer, Jane Avril, who was the star of the Moulin Rouge. The Folie Bergère was another very famous venue in Paris, initially opened uh, for opera, but then evolved into more of a review and music hall venue. And we know that Catherine Zuber looked at the Folie Bergère, looked at the history of the showgirl when she was designing the costumes. So a lot of the iconography, the shapes and the colours really fed into that aesthetic for the stage musical. What you're seeing here is just one part of the complete ensemble. There's also a necklace, a top hat with crystals, velvet gloves that are completely uh, crystallized. In the back, there will be feathers to the ground, boots that are custom made with crystals. So there's lots of sparkle going on. She enters on a swing and then she has to get off the swing. And within seconds, the costume falls away, revealing another costume underneath. And this is the magic ingredient. In the front, we have these rows of Velcro, not used for their Velcro properties, but used because it's a great material to um, achieve um, kind of the threading that has to happen. And this magic wand kind of goes through each of these tabs in sequential order. See, so this feeds through, and that's how the costume stays together. It really is quite a work of engineering. The wonderful thing about theater is the collaboration, working with other designers and a director and the actors. It's always so exciting when you see like delight in their eye when they put on, they go, oh yeah, this is perfect. This is really helping me to become the character. It's so satisfying. We're creating a very dynamic mannequin to recreate the seated position that she comes down the swing on. So we're working with a mannequin company who is going to create a completely bespoke mannequin uh, which is seated and holding on to the swing in the display. It will be suspended uh, so those fabulous feathers will just fall down the back and she'll look quite fabulous. This is such an amazing acquisition for the V&A, but it's also such a joy to have it on display as it should be on a trapeze, as if she's descending into the museum with her glorious silver boots and hat and feather tails. It's just such a wonderful thing for visitors to see.